In this presentation, we will take a look at how to remove date and timestamps from reports. We will be demonstrating this on the balance sheet within QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. In order to open the open windows, go to the view drop down and select open windows list. We're going to start on the balance sheet standard and then look at the date and st time stamp options. Note that this will be applicable for most any reports, which will have this date and time stamp. So we will observe it here. We won't go through it with every other report report, but note that it is an option for most. So we're going to start by going to the reports drop down up top. We're going to scroll down to the company and financial and then go on down to the balance sheet standard. Standard balance sheet. This is where we will start. We're going to change the date to 12-31-19. That's December 31st, 2019. Where we are focusing in on here is this report date and time on the left. Now this can be very useful because when we print these, of course, it'll give us the date and time printed and the type of method used accrual or the cash method as we can see switching accrual and cash we could see these items change oftentimes we may not want this however it might be something that we don't feel necessary on the reports or it may be something that we don't want to display or muddies up the reports as we give them to clients customers or employers so we can remove that by going to the customized reports up top and we're going to go to the headers and footers tab here headers and footers we're not going to go through all of the sections of the headers and footers uh, we do have the difference we can change the company name the report title the subtitle what we're concentrating on here and we'll do oftentimes is just to remove these stamps so if we move the date prepared the time prepared and the report basis it should remove these three that we can kind of see in this little window on the left side We'll get to some more of the options in terms of the other options within the header and footer later, but this is something that we often want to do with many different types of reports and just remove that. So we want to show that separately here, and then we'll get back into some of these other options at a later time. So if we just say, okay, then we're going to remove those items. We have a bit of a cleaner look on the reports and we can print these out as is. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.